After every election, the loser asks, what happened? In Washington, D.C., Democrats are doing just that, but they've already decided they'll stick with their current leaders for the next term. The strategic questions, though, are critical. When we don't talk about economics, we lose elections. Well, we need accountability, and there's no accountability from leadership. This business as usual here in Congress is not going to work out for the Democrats. Do you focus on traditional Democrats whose turnout was lackluster this election? Or do you reach across the aisle to those Obama voters who became Trump voters this time around? Democratic Congressman Don Beyer was reelected for a second term representing Northern Virginia. Nice to have you with us. Thank you, Soledad. Do you think the Democrats are in crisis? It certainly feels that way. Um, I've been back in Congress for the last two weeks, and there have been many, many long meetings and uh, not so much finger pointing, but the hand wringing. Uh, everyone tries to say or tries to figure out where do we go from here? Now, the good news is I haven't seen this much energy in the Democratic Party in a long time. Yeah, well, that's that's. I guess, encouraging for Democrats. Um, Republicans, of course, did that autopsy after their loss and looked at what went wrong. What would you analyze what, as what went wrong in this presidential election? We have pretty much lost our, our, the, the saliency of our brand. And I think I heard, read that Hillary lost middle or rural and small town America by a three to one margin. And if it had just been two to one, she'd be the president elect right now. We do wonderfully on the coasts. You know, California, Los, you know, New York, Virginia. Um, but we have to find a way to get the, the middle part of America. A lot of the analysis focused on the white working class voter, but it's actually the white middle class and wealthy white voter that went for, for Donald Trump. Um, the people who were typical Republicans remained uh, typical Republicans. People, some who voted for, Don, uh, for Obama in 2012, there are a couple hundred different counties where they then, the next time, would vote for Donald Trump. Is the strategy now try to get back those voters, those Trump voters, or do you look at those lifelong Democrats who just didn't bother to come out in this election? Well, I want to give you great credit for putting your finger on exactly the existential problem, exactly the d debate, I think, that's coming up in the Democratic Party. We've always been the party of the little guy, of the underdog, and these have been underdog groups. These have been groups that need legitimacy, that need uh, embracing. Uh, the dilemma was we apparently, or at least in some ways, have, have lost you know, the, the folks that aren't part of those identity groups. And so the other part of the thing realizes we need to go to the coal communities, to the farming communities, to the manufacturing communities that have been devastated and have real messages of economic growth and jobs and opportunity for them just as well. But don't you think white was an identity in this election? I know we talked a lot about identity politics and it's always like, I think white's an identity that can be identified in this particular, particular election. There was an interesting article in Time magazine. They interviewed a young woman talking about her vote, and she said, I'll paraphrase, something like, you know, Hillary Clinton really reached out and talked to minorities and uh, immigrants, but didn't care about everyday Americans. Well, I think in perhaps even the emphasis on identity politics of these other groups is almost created by reaction, the sense of a white identity, which maybe didn't exist so much before. I think I saw some statistics just yesterday that, that Democrat uh, Hillary's percentage of the white vote was the lowest anyone's had in many, many years. It's, it's been this slow decline. So th my hope, too, is that the Democratic way forward will not be to abandon this, this wonderful base, um, but to find ways to bring everybody together. Can you, within two years before we get to the midterm elections, reach those people? Tr truly rebuilding the Democratic brand in rural America, in small town America, in, in the, the middle of the country is, is a generational challenge. We're not going to do that in two years. We have to start, though, right away. And, and we start with authentically caring about their issues and their lives and, and building policies and leadership around that. We'll see. Yeah. Congressman, thank you for your time. Appreciate thank you so much.